You say you're under a tight deadline and your presentation doesn't really cut it, no problem. Just copy someone else's work. The Infinite Thinking Machine is a production of Q. In kindergarten, we were taught that sharing is a good thing. In third grade, we were taught that copying is a bad thing. Now, thanks to Creative Commons, we're discovering that copying can be a really good thing and sharing is even better. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that helps creators share their work and allows anyone to copy or remix it legally. You get free access to people's great media from around the world, their photos, videos, and music. There are more than 900 million works available right now. Sounds almost too good to be true. Search.creativecommons.org is your one-stop shop for a mind-blowing array of cool content. Let's say your topic is volcanoes. Just enter it in the search bar and choose a site you want to search for free content. If you can't find several killer shots here, you're not trying. Want some video? YouTube has everything from the scientific to the mesmerizing. Don't want a long sequence? You can use YouTube's built-in editor to trim and re-edit Creative Commons clips. Who knew copying could be so creative? If you want to share your original creations with other Creative Commons users, you can pick the rights you want to grant them. You can let others make changes to your work and sell it, or not. Need music? Jamendo.com is one place to go. It's a site where independent artists showcase their creations and find new fans. It offers more than 400,000 free audio tracks. Don't expect to find U2's latest album here. Just because Apple gave it away on iTunes doesn't mean you can use it on your video under Creative Commons. In fact, you should double check any media you plan to reuse to make sure you can use it legally. It's easy to do on YouTube. Just click more below the video window and look for the Creative Commons license info. If you don't see it, don't use it. Lawsuits take all the fun out of copying. In this case, it's better to ask questions first and shoot later. Will anybody get that? Ready to keep hacking in your classroom? You'll find links to everything from this episode on our site, infinitethinking.org. Be sure to check out previous episodes. You can even hack our videos on our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter. And remember, you are the infinite copy machine.